Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and thank you, Mr. Bartold, for being with us. Um, will, uh, a few questions. Will a teacher in my district who buys pens, pencils, paper for, the, for his students be able to deduct these costs from his tax returns under this plan? HR uh, 1 would repeal the above the line deduction for uh, teacher uh, expenses. Um, will a corporation that buys pens, pencils, and papers for its workers be able to deduct those costs, for, deduct those costs from its tax returns under this plan? Uh, the general deduction for uh, ordinary and necessary business expenses by any business entity uh, is not, not changed, so it need not be a So they would. But yes. Um, will a firefighter in my district be able to deduct the state and local sales taxes that she pays from her tax returns under this plan? Uh, as noted uh, previously, the itemized deduction for the election of either state or local income taxes would be repealed under HR 1. And will a corporation be able to deduct sales taxes on business purchases under this plan? Uh, sales taxes incurred uh, as part of the production of income would remain deductible. Okay, so, so they would. Um, will a homeowner in my district be able to deduct more than $10,000 in property taxes under this plan? Uh, uh, real estate uh, uh, taxes uh, under HR 1 would be capped at $10,000. Okay. Uh, um, itemized we'll, deduct, itemized we'll, deduction. Okay. Um, will a corporation be able to deduct more than $10,000 in property taxes under the plan? Uh, again, under the same, uh, uh, the same rule I was uh, describing as ordinary and necessary business expenses, the taxes attributable to earning income would be deductible, so the short answer is yes. Okay. Um, and if a worker in my district had to move because um, his employer is forcing him to relocate his family or potentially lose his job, can he deduct his moving expenses under this plan? That, uh, uh, that above the line uh, deduction is also re repealed, Ms. Del Benny. Um, he would not be able to. Correct, yeah. Um, but if a company, a corporation decides to close its facilities in my district, fire its workers and move its operation to China, say, um, can it deduct associated moving expenses under this plan? Or state another way, can a corporation under this plan deduct outsourcing expenses incurred in relocating a U.S. business outside of the United States? Uh, outside the United States or within the United States, those would be deductible expenses. So would you say that this legislation treats corporations and individuals in the same terms of who gets to keep deductions and who doesn't? Uh, I, I would personally not phrase the question uh, that way, and I think that's more something that the, uh, is appropriate for the members to debate. Uh, but clearly there's a difference in terms of the impact we've had on individuals and policy changes there, but not well, well, similar in, changes in on Del businesses. Benny, the, the not, I won't say distinction, but the, the precision I was trying to draw uh, uh, was that expenses uh, attributable to earning income remain generally deductible uh, under the plan. Um, the itemized deductions relating to a, a person as a household are what is where the expenses the, that they have to pay um, just to get by. 